Hello, I wanted to talk a little bit more about detox. I know we already touched on uh, the nutrition aspect and elimination a little bit. Um, just wanted to go a little bit more in depth there. When we talk about elimination, we talk about having a healthy gut that's able to deal with all the toxins that we have. So especially for people with Lyme disease and co-infections, if you are killing bacteria, then you're going to have this die-off effect. You're going to have these dead bacterial cells that your body has to clean up after. It's going to cause inflammation. Um, you know, you're really kind of stressing your immune system to go in there and work and clean this all out. And there's something called a Herxheimer reaction. So if you heard people with Lyme disease talk about Herxing, it's when you have a lot of die-off products, your body can't quite handle it. It might need some help to get rid of things, and that's where the detox comes in. Um, in a bigger way in somebody that's going through chronic infections or acute infections or any kind of stress to their immune system, any kind of toxic burden, um, bacterial load like we have in Lyme disease. So making sure that you have a strong gut, a healthy gut so that it can effectively take care of those toxins is really important. Lyme disease is about so much more than just killing the bacteria. If you don't have a healthy gut to take care of all the die-off and to really detoxify throughout the process, then it doesn't make sense to just start killing right away. So you really have to look at the whole health. And so we can talk more in detail about things to do for the gut um, in the future. So now we're, we're just going to talk about you know, detox in general a little bit more. Um, so that elimination is really important. Don't get constipated. That'll stop the process of detoxification. So eating the organic foods, making sure things are clearing, um, that's kind of the mainstay. And then just, you know, the thoughts that you, you are thinking. Um, are you having a toxic thought or a healing thought? So detoxification is about so much more than just what we're putting in our mouth. It's about the thoughts that we're thinking, the emotions that we have, the social connections that we have. Are these all interactions that are toxic to you or are they healing? Are they comforting? Are they inspiring? Or are you around people that make you feel drained energetically, that make you feel toxic? Um, are you the one that are having these toxic thoughts, um, being hard on yourself, thinking that you're not good enough, that kind of thing, just being aware of your environment. And then along with what you're eating, just you know what you're putting on your skin. If it's not something that you would eat, you really shouldn't put on your skin because it's going right into your bloodstream. So uh, plastics, aluminum, you know, heavy metals, mercury amalgams in your mouth, what exposures do you have? Are you handling those? Is your gut healthy enough to deal with the die-off from bacteria or different toxins, whatever you're exposed to? Are you eliminating? Um, and sweating is another thing. So exercise, movement, any kind of movement, infrared saunas, just getting things to, to go out of your system in whatever way you can is really helpful, especially for somebody with Lyme disease who has, you know, a much bigger toxin load than maybe your average healthy person. And then what about those people with Lyme disease? Is just eating a healthy enough diet and getting some movement, um, if they can, if they have the energy, is that enough? Do they need more? Are there mycotoxins? Um, you know, there's, there's additional supplements, things that we can do. Alpha lipoic acid is great, N-acetylcysteine. Um, if you're, you know, really struggling and you're getting IV therapies for detox, you can do glutathione, you can do IV vitamin C infusions, you can do phosphatidylcholine. Those are all great for detoxifying. B vitamins, um, it's important. I would recommend working with a functional medicine healthcare practitioner who's going to look at your detoxification pathways, see maybe there's something in your methylation pathway um, that's not working adequately. And maybe if you supplement with B vitamins, um, you know, the right form, that will help you in your detox pathways. So before you just um, start killing bacteria, you really want to look at the whole detox picture. You want to see, you know, your personal detox picture. How well are you detoxing? What things are you doing in your everyday life that are helping you? And are you predisposed to some to maybe not detoxifying at the level that you should be and what can you do about that and how healthy is your gut um, your body has to deal with all of this bacteria that you're killing off and all of this new inflammation that it's causing and you have to be healthy enough to get rid of it 
So looking at the big picture, look, working with a practitioner that knows, you know, what supplements you're on and can, can kind of come up with a whole detox plan for you. Some, some of these um, things, there's like zeolite, beton, betonite clay, um, things called binders. And so they, they bind up with toxins to get them out of your body, but they're also going to bind up with supplements and medications and other things that you're taking. So learning the optimal time to take these um, in relation to the other medications and supplements that you're on is really important. Um, and then, you know, just the nutrition, the more, the, the simplest thing that we all probably could do is just eat more vegetables, you know, preferably organic, eat more greens, eat more vegetables, eat as many different colors as you can. That's really just going to kind of give your body a boost and allow it to continue detoxifying naturally. And then moving your body, sweating, uh, a rebounder is really good um, for detox as well. It's you're moving your body, you know, if you're doing it at a um, intense enough um intensity, then you're going to be breaking sweat. If you're not, just that that jumping is going to stimulate your lymph system. So your lymph system um, is really, really important in the detoxification process, but your lymph system can't really stimulate itself. It needs that stimulation. So that's why the, the jumping is really good for that. And um, lymphatic massage, things specifically for your lymph system, um, those are good ideas as well. Um, yeah, I think that covers, you know, most of it. Um, so, you know, we can talk more in depth about what specific things you can do with somebody with Lyme disease to detox. And, like, that should be something that you come up with in conjunction with a healthcare practitioner where we're really looking at the big picture, your individuality, what supplements, um, medications, things that you can do to really get the boost. Um, you know, look at any, any gene mutations you might have, just look at the individual as a whole, look at your diet, look at all the toxins in your environment, and then just don't forget that your thoughts are your environment, and your social connections are your environment, and your emotions are your environment, and your connection to source, or the universe, or God, or however you see spirituality, that's part of your environment. So if we're talking about detox, it's not just, I'm going to do a juice cleanse for three days. It's kind of taking an overall picture of your life and looking at toxins in, toxins out, and what you can do to help that balance, what you can do to help your body so that it's the healthiest it can be, so that your body can naturally detox. And is detox right for everybody? Is there one detox regimen that's right for everybody? No, it's very individualized. It depends on your health conditions, what you're going through. And, you know, as somebody with Lyme disease myself, now I'm now I'm fully well, fully thriving, but I've had it, I've been through it, I know what you're going through. I know that the detox has to be a little bit more intense. So, you know, personally, I did coffee enemas, I did IV vitamin C, glutathione, um, you know, different supplements, different binders. Um, it was a process, and it still is. It's still something that I am aware of, aware of the toxins in my environment, aware of what I'm doing. Um, it's not, I'm not doing anything more intense than I used to. Um, now as I used to when I was actually in the thick of it, but just being aware of the toxins in your environment and, um, you know, for me getting the mercury out of my mouth was something huge that I think just let me get to a higher level of wellness than I was before. So if you have, um, you know, mold exposure, heavy metal exposure, anything big in your life and just addressing that, um, then it might be more of a project for you then if you live in a pristine environment and you, you know, don't have any health challenges. And then it's, it's really more about just, you know, eating clean diet, making sure you're not getting constipated and letting your body kind of do, do the job that it's supposed to do and help helping keeping you healthy by doing that natural detox. Um, so I look forward to speaking to you all again uh, sometime soon. Thank you.